that's not too bad. Hey guys, before we get into it, I want to give a big thanks to today's video sponsor, which is once again Shields. Shields is an employee-owned sports and outdoor retailer with 30 locations worldwide, each with expertly trained and passionate sales associates to give you the best in-store experience. You can also check them out online via the link in the video description, as well as pinned comment, and browse all the premium brands they have to offer. They do price matching, and they guarantee your satisfaction or your money back. So again, that's Shields. Do check them out for all of your sports and outdoor needs. Again, link in the description down below. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking and I am very, very curious about today's video subject matter. This is not a new product by any means. In fact, I'm very late to the game, but I don't care. I wanna have my fun with it. This is the Trailblazer Life Card. It is a gun that takes the form of a credit card as far as the dimensions this way. However, of course, it is a bit thicker than a credit card, but it's made to be able to get thrown in your pocket and it doesn't print like a gun. Pull it forward and then it unfolds until you hear it click right there. Then here's your trigger, the way you uh, load it, tilt these two back, tilt the barrel up, you put one round of 22 long rifle in this one, as you can see, 22 long rifle. There's also 22 magnum, might be another one as well, but 22 long rifle is the most popular. Put one round in there, close it up, cock this thing back, and then you go ahead and shoot. One round capacity in the barrel, however, this is kind of nifty, little storage compartment you can hold three extra rounds of 22 long rifle. But there you go, there's that. And when you have three extra rounds, it rattles a little bit, but then again, it looks like that in your pocket. Someone's gonna think, wow, he really likes Tic Tacs. So I don't quite know why, but I can't wait to shoot it. They made the life card with a threaded barrel so you could suppress it. Don't mind the Black Hawk helicopter. It's probably gonna be making some noise here in just a bit if you can't hear it already. Did I say Black Hawk? I meant Chinook. Only on Texas Plinking can you get a gun review and a private air show all in one. I paid a lot of money for that, guys. I want to thank the Patreons. We're going to go ahead and suppress it. We've got some supersonic stuff. We've got some subsonic stuff. We're going to just have some fun. But more than anything, I want to see how effective I am. Because when we talk about pocket pistols, I think of the North American Arms 22 short and the 22 long rifle. And I honestly can't hit anything with that from any range beyond point blank. But these, I don't know. We'll see what I could do. Let's start with the uh, unsuppressed, unthreaded green live card. Let's go ahead and load this thing up like a so. Put the 22 right in there. And then I'll wait till I'm ready to shoot. Cock that thing back and let's just see what the hell happens. All right, so as of right now, there's one in the barrel, but it's not cocked back, so it's safe, more or less. Let's go ahead and fold this away. In my athletic shorts here, we could go ahead and put that away. And like I said, it looks like there's Tic Tacs in here. Okay, nothing crazy. It's not too much. Now, this is a relatively realistic range for self-defense or so, about maybe seven or so yards. Now let's go ahead and time this. Let's say there's a threat. I have to deal with it real quickly. Stop laughing. That's First good. off, I'll tell you what, it was not as snappy as I was expecting. That thing is actually really easy to control because actually what I just realized, you pretty much have a, I won't call it a full size grip, but my hand, all the way to my pinky has a landing point on it. Whereas like the North American arms, it's like a tiny little gun that you're starting a race for mice with. And it's very uncomfortable to shoot. That thing shot really, really flat, funny enough. Okay, so let's go ahead and with practice, that was my first run and I hit the target. Okay, here we go. We open the barrel back up, pinch this thing out. Bada boom, time to reload. Stop laughing, mom, this is a real gun, dude. All right. I hope it's only one bad intruder. Well, I hope if there's more, they're very patient. <laughs> Here we go. Again, there's no safe on it. It is loaded, but without it being cocked back, it's not gonna go off. Back in the pocket. I don't know you. That's my purse. I said that out of order, who cares? It's not that bad, not that bad. Oh, you are dead. I didn't see where that went. Uh, am I dead or am I gonna reload? Wait right there. <laughs> I'll actually aim this time. There we go. Okay, so you don't have traditional sights as far as like uh, two rear and one front. What you have is this little groove. It's like just a slide, that cut right there. And so you look down it, and I wasn't doing that the first couple of rounds, but now that we're at some extended long range, I need to. So we got to hit. Let's see how far out I could go. Yeah, 
that's not too bad. Is that left? I think so. It looked left. There's some wind yeah. blowing. So that little 22, you know, it's going to get carried pretty, pretty well. Uh, throwing the brass with that level of sass is optional. You don't have to do that. All right, here we go. I'm going to hold right, maybe. Wow. How about that? Let's keep it going. <laughs> I didn't even see where that landed. Um, maybe I didn't need to hold right, but I held a little bit right there. I have no idea. Well, for now, I'm done with the hearing protection, so uh, let's go ahead and shoot the suppressed version. All right, that starts looking a little bit weird. Looks like I'm a little excited to shoot. Um, so yeah, I don't know if this was more so novelty, but otherwise, I'm curious about it as well. I don't know how loud this is gonna be. I've ditched the hearing protection. These are supersonic, so they might have a pretty good crack here, so I might have to put the hearing protection back on, but I don't quite know yet. Let's go ahead and see what the first shot's all about. All right, well then, I can't really aim with those sights, I just realized. Oh, okay, well, cool. For supersonic, that is ridiculously quiet. Definitely no ringing, definitely a good can. Um, that being said, I also want to thank Sonster Shop for sponsoring this video as well. Uh, if you guys want to suppress your life cards, go ahead and go through Sonster Shop or suppress anything. But I'm a big fan of suppressors. You guys would know that if you are subscribed to the channel. I always suppress something if it has the option to be suppressed. So when I saw these life cards with threaded barrels, I was like, that is cool. I don't know the purpose, but that's... I don't need a purpose, you guys know me. But yeah, Silencer Shop guys, they make the process of obtaining this legal classification, suppressors, short barrel shotguns, short barrel rifles, pre-86 machine guns, so much easier because you can set your trust up through Silencer Shop. If you guys have a Silencer Shop kiosk nearby you, which you probably do, you can find the locator. It makes the entire process, getting the fingerprints, making the trust so much easier. On top of the fact that they have a big selection of suppressors to choose from. So again, that's Silencer Shop. Thank you for sponsoring the video. Let's go ahead and see if I can get a hit with the suppressed trailblazer. Is that right? I can't see anything. I'm gonna really try to aim through that can. All right, no, I'm good. I just went dead center. I'm just focusing more on aiming this time. Dude, I love how little that kicks, suppressed or unsuppressed, because you could get a whole hand on that. When I first saw these guns, I thought they were 100% novelty, but now that I'm shooting it, it's actually getting on target and it's, it's a backup to your backup. I'm not saying this is going to make you, uh, you know, replace your Glock 19 by any means, your P365, but for an otherwise kind of attire you wouldn't have uh, carried anything at all, it's better than nothing by a lot. Let's see if it even makes a difference. We got some subsonics in here. Yeah, they're slower to get there. Um, you heard the steel. The steel's going to make it all sound the same, so let's just put this next one into some dirt. Not bad. Not bad at all. Same small. Let's go for the larger of the big swinger there. All right. How about that? I've never been this calm shooting guns. A little 22 suppressed. I feel like Bob Ross. I pinch that, open that. Yep. Load it. Hurry, bad guy's coming. Okay. Then we go like this. Then we clip this back. Uh huh. And Good luck hitting something oh, with God. the suppressor. Yeah, it's hard. I cannot guess. Oh, oh that was close. Yeah, you would have got him in the head probably. It's not bad. There you go. Don't come after me. Honestly, okay. that's pretty good range for this little pocket pistol. That's like good. way more. If you're going to shoot from that far, that how much of a thread good. is he? I really like it. Yeah, how about that? Matches the, the Texas Plinking Moons Out Goons Out merch. Mm -hmm. I have a box of ammo. I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to get a hit from back here. Oh, is that high? I think they're high. Oh, All there day. we go. All day. And then when we're done with neutralizing the threat at half a mile, <laughs> nobody would know. Although I'm not the first person to make a YouTube video on the life card, I hope I'm the first person to dual wield life cards. Hopefully. One of them hit. Again, guys, that's the Trailblazer Firearms life card with the new threaded barrel as well. Very interesting gun. Uh, I gotta say, I knew I was gonna like it just because I like weird and novelty guns. To my surprise, genuinely, more applicable than I thought. Um, honestly, just if I wanted to bring a gun out that I maybe otherwise wouldn't, just because of the clothing I'm wearing, where I just don't want the stigmatism of if someone notices I'm carrying a gun um, at a party or whatever, 
Something kind of cool about, now the suppressed one will probably stay in the safe or come out to the gun range here and there, but this one, pretty freaking cool. Again, I mean, it, this for example, some barbell apparel, quick shout out to them, some of their just athletic shorts, stow that in the pocket. I could totally go to the gym with that if I wanted to. Now, no, that's not my primary gun I would want to use in self-defense, but certainly better than nothing. Um, it's pretty cool. With slightly more effective range than let's say your pocket knife. So again, it's just better to have it than to not, but otherwise, even for a novelty range toy, really, really enjoyable, really fun. My mom seems to like it, so what the heck? Very cool, different colors. This one's an OD green with the black. This one's an all black. They got tan, they got grays, they got camos. Um, cool model lineup. Again, I thought it was 100% novelty, but it's actually got some real world use to it. Let me know what you guys think about it, but I'm actually a big fan of the life cards. Pretty darn cool. Anyway, I want to give a big thanks to Shields for sponsoring this video, as well as Sonser Shop, and a big thanks to Trailblazer Firearms for sending the guns, because they're actually pretty damn fun. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time.